Here comes the man in black. The Galaxy Defenders. Guy and I just got back from seeing Men in Black 3 and I gotta tell you, I enjoyed this movie more than I thought I would. So the basic premise is it follows Agent J and Agent K doing what they normally do, you know, beating the bad guys, stopping aliens from doing sort of these, all this stuff. And one day they went to go to a bust and Agent K discovers something that he'd never seen in like a long time and he knows it's a sign of something to come. They get into an argument that night which leads to a schism in their relationship and then the following day Jay comes into the MIB headquarters to find out that Agent K no longer exists. He was killed back in 1969. So now Agent J must now go back in time to stop Boris the Animal from killing his partner and also save the world from an alien invasion. Now before watching this movie, I've heard a bunch of reviews saying, you know, mixed, positive, mixed, positive. Some people really liked it, others were like so disappointing. So you can understand I went into this movie like 50-50. I could really like it or I could really hate it. And gladly, I really enjoyed this movie. I mean, it's probably one of my favorite Men in Blacks after the first. The second one, I give it the fact that it wasn't great, but I enjoyed it for what it was. This one, again, it was just all entertainment. I loved it. Josh Brolin really knocks it out of the park as Agent, younger Agent K, man. He is awesome in this movie. I, for a second there, I didn't even know that was Josh Brolin. I thought that was Tommy Lee Jones. I'm like, damn. You good boy. Will Smith is still as funny as ever. I mean, I thought from watching the trailers that, you know, he would try to be like this young kid again, saying all these funny, crazy stuff. And I, I was thoroughly shocked by how funny he was, how entertaining he was. And Will Smith, welcome back. The story, although not really like, you know, deep and thought provoking, was very entertaining and I enjoyed it. There were some funny scenes. There were some hits and misses, you know, it was just a entertaining time. Now, Jermaine Clement as the villain, I really liked him, though I do agree with a bunch of people that, you know, in the second half of the movie, he just really drives around and... There are a lot of cool cameos in this movie. One just made me... I, I was sitting there, I looked at it, and I was like, oh my god, that is awesome! And I gotta say, the ending was surprisingly touching. I didn't, I didn't expect that at all. I mean, it just, it hits you right here. And it actually, it forms a stronger bond between Agent J and Agent K. I mean, it was just touchy. Now, a few things that bothered me, again, like I said, Boris the Animal, yes, he's awesome, but I mean, he really didn't do much besides and then shoot people with his, like, sharp little spikes. There was also a character called Agent O. I really would have loved to know about Agent her relationship with Agent K, maybe even tag along in the missions instead of having just, you know, Agent K and Agent J have Agent K, J, and O. That would have been awesome. Instead of just the two, it's three. But no, they kind of threw her character to the side. She had a lot of depth in the beginning, and then when they went back in time, they're like, oh, she's here. Hi. I think what pissed some people off about this movie is the fact that some characters from past MIB films were not in this movie. And I'm not going to say what characters, but there are a few characters they make cameos or you'll see like a picture of them. But the, the whole fact they are not there kind of might have irritated a bunch of people. One character in particular made me kind of sad that he wasn't there. Also, the beginning was a little eh. Like, it was setting up all these things and I'm like, uh... Okay, I don't really care, but okay. But when he time travels, that's when it picks up, really. But overall, I really enjoyed MIB 3. It was a blast all the way through. It was entertaining, some funny moments, the characters were awesome. Will Smith, Josh Brolin, Tommy Lee Jones, knock it out of the park. Jermaine Clements was an awesome bad guy. And I'm going to give this movie a 4 out of 5 stars. It's definitely worth watching. It is a fun time at the movies. But anyway, what did you guys think of this movie? Did you like it a lot, or do you hate it? or are you still on the fence and maybe this might turn your views around and let me know what is your favorite MIB movie I know there's only like three but I'm sure some people really like the second some people really like the first comment below and let me know anyway I'm the black critic guy bridging the gap between movies and anime reviews till then peace YouTube